so hello everyone this is me and sir i am back with another video and in this video we will be looking at the texture paint tab in blender texture paint tab is also really really important in the shading view tab we have learned almost everything we don't need to learn anything else we will be applying the knowledge we have learned later in the videos but for now we need to learn the texture paint as this is really important for the advanced texture so the first thing you need to do is you need to use an image texture in order to use the texture paint so i am using an image texture creating new i will make this a 2k image so now the image is ready i will name this texture paint i guess this is good now we go to the texture paint and now we have our texture paint uh, image open and here if we paint anything it will be applied to our object based on the UVs as you can see these are the UVs of the object so let's discuss the tools we have here so first of course we have the draw tool which we use to draw which is really easy and then we have our soften so let's suppose I draw this thing then I use another color let's suppose blue and now as you can see these are actually still soften let me just make them a bit sharper and then right so now if I use the soften brush Now this is, you can clearly see the difference if I undo the effect. So this just softens up. This is not that useful but we still use them in some cases. Then there is smear which is to kind of like for example if we need this blue color here too so we can just do this. Right so this is also a really really useful tool. Then there is clone which is just clones whatever is on the other side like if I use the clone tool here why is this not working okay. it is just going to clone the nearby texture as you can see here and just clones what this was not a very useful tool then there is fill which just fills everything up like this everything is filled now then there is mask and then this annotated so and then if you look at the tool tab this is for the tools now this is not only for the texture paint if you go into the sculpt mode for example here in the sculpt mode there is again the tool view which is for every single tool but as we are discussing texture paint the tool we are going to discuss here is the text draw now this tool tab is also for other tools too like clone fill and all that but for now the most important one is the draw brush so in the draw brush if you go down there is everything related to the draw brush similar to here like the radius the strength similarly the color and then there is masking symmetry if you want you can mirror x y like this right so there is everything there is also for y right so this is the symmetry and then there are options other and then works workspace is just the workspace so the most important thing which we use here is the texture view here now where do we use this texturing? So we use this texturing in texturing a real human character like a realistic character then if we want to map something so I'll show you how we use this. So if we create a new texture we will make this alpha new and if I go into the texture tab you can see alpha new is here and the alpha new I am just going to open so I have the image here now if I go back to the tool view tab and from mapping from tile to if I make it stencil you'll see that it is now on the viewport you can use the right click to move it around 
and the shift right click to scale it up down so if I for example choose a red color here right and going to make it a bit bigger and do this you can see how this looks right like for example blood now similarly if we come here move our texture and we can also use the control to rotate this if i make it a bit smaller put here like this as you can see rotate it again rotate it again right and now you can see how this looks then we can just make it view plane so we can see how the texturing looks like so this is the most important thing as you can clearly see now even you can think and imagine where this can be used so these are the things i am also going to show you another example so if i create another texture and let's name this human now i have this image here of a human head if i go here and make it a stencil you can clearly see i have some human head so how can we use this we are i am just going to make it a bit bigger somewhat like this and if i now to make this white and you can see clearly that i have the image here now if i just were to make the eye here for example you can see i have the eye now if i make it a bit like this You can see I have the image here. Now, when texturing a real face, we usually just project it like this. And if it is a nose, we create the nose, then we rotate it and move like this, and then we create this eye here. Like this is how we texture a human character. So I hope you can understand how this works. The texture tab and the particle. If we need to use particle, then all of these tools. So this is it for this video, we'll learn more about texturing in the next video. You can support me through Patreon if you like, source file and some exclusive videos in the future will be uploaded there. And also subscribe to the channel for further videos. So thank you.